Bucks were all here last night practicing their yells, and they're ready to be the 12th man here at Kyle Field. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Seven-yard play. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Up the middle for a nice game. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Carries it again, and he's tackled in the backfield. No that brings up 30 Hey, check 533. He's tackled at the 36 yard line. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Only three yards there on the throw. His junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Looking for the corner, and they push him out at the 30-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Zips it to the back. Once it all, going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Hall, oh, back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They'll bring him down at the 44. Sheds a tackler, and he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four.
Slings it to his fullback. Tackle at the 22-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do to them. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. Nearly intercepted. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Draw here. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That makes it fourth and 12. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Three nothing. Texas A&M. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 22. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's immediately tackled. He goes downtown. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number 12, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Hall, back deep to return. Gets to about the 41 yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Texas A&M is up by three. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 45 yard line. Strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 31. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 25 yard line. Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Mike Schick, 33. And he throws it away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Three down, three down. Hey, check 
Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 21. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled in the open field. Scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. And here's another third down. Sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on his quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. For the 20, he's into the open field. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Nice run up the middle. For his running back, incomplete. Ball is back, awaiting the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Ball takes it to 25. 
He's to the 40. Across midfield. Oh, it's a kicker that comes up with a tackle. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish. Finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Gives it off. Makes it out to about the 30. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it. You can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Here comes the pressure. Fires that quickly incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He makes it to the six-yard line. gets rid of it. So at the end of one, the Aggies lead 13-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Kicks away, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he tackles him hard at the 34. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Number 27 makes the set at the 42-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Green pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. This was a great call. From here, it looked like the defense was fooled and reacted a little bit late to the screen. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. From the 45-yard line, second down. And he has it on the corner. Gets out to around the 35. 
So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Tackled after a decent pickup. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First down and five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Mike one, Mike one. Give to the tailback. They'll wrestle him down to the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here's an opening. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. Gain of 14 yards. First down. Four down, four down. Mike number one, Mike number one. Two and eight. Two and eight. He takes it right side for a good game. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. Mike one, Mike one. Quick strike and he drops it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to try that time. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Knocked out of bounds at about the nine-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and he got it. Auburn to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. There's a play fake. And he can't get away from the pressure. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He's scrambling, and he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Looks middle, got his back. So the defense does their job well on that series. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. Man is waiting for the snap. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Last drive resulted in a field goal. And the offense will come back out looking to do one better. the run tackle at the 42 they'll bring him down at about the 39 yard line And he 
He's level at the 28-yard line. That's a game of 11. That makes it first and 10. Little handoff. He makes his way to about the 18. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That brings up second and nine. They'll get him in the backfield. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. From the 22-yard line, third down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Martin picks up about five yards on that hookup. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterback's looking very sharp on this track. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Positive yardage. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it third and five. Here we go. Out. Here we go. Out. Motion, motion. Pop, 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 pop. Quick throw. Caught. Touchdown. he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 57-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 16-10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M with a six-point lead. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Caught with room to work. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. The defender had it and then dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Little pass over the middle to the fullback. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And he hits him hard at the 27. rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's going left. 
And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Texas A&M up six. Little handoff. Brought down at the 15. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Tenth play of the drive. And down he goes, right around the 12 yard line. That makes it 37. Under heavy pressure. That's a great tackle at the 23. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. up and it's good and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 he's taken down at the 24 yard line They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 19 to 10, Texas A&M. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look. You know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let him throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. First down. Throws it deep. Found his man. Touchdown, Auburn. Great 
great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown to this wide receiver. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Texas A&M holds just a two-point lead. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 31. Try to run it inside, and he's hammered. He passes it, makes the grab, and steps out right away. Taken down at the 50. That'll bring up second and 11. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number 42, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Under pressure. Got it and brought down immediately. Makes the reception. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Gets to about the 41-yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. Hall will be the return man. He really got a hold of that one. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Texas A&M with a two-point advantage. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. 
That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Good outside run there. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Hand off to the left. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Loss of one yard. That'll make it. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at midfield. Decides to slide. Tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Loss of two on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. Texas A&M is up two. And he's taken down at the 45. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. First down. Whitlow gets the ball. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and ten. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And they make the stop at the 39. With the reception. Number 19 on the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. Brought down around the 27 yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one to the right. Watch one. Watch one. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Call the loss of two yards on the ground. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball in the 29. He makes his way out to about the 12. Great 
run here, and he's got nowhere to go. It's the ninth play of the drive. Makes it to the 12-yard line. to the receiver, incomplete. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and he's got it. Auburn is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Texas A&M holds just a two-point lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's to the 40. He finally goes down at the 43-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. They'll work the left. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's three down and one to go. So the Aggies in front by two. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Texas A&M with a two-point advantage. Makes it out to about the 10. That makes it second and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Zips it to the tight end. Touchdown, a and m So they go to the end. And they come away with six, Kirk. Man, Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Like they're ready for the kick. 
He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for the of your hearts. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of four. That'll make it third and one. Brought down in the open field. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. He goes out of bounds at the 48. On the throw, incomplete pass. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. So they're going to go for it here. He goes at the 43. That's a game of three. Not over here. Not over that makes it first and ten. Not over here. Two check. He makes it to the 42 yard line. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This is the 12th play of this drive. That makes it second and 10. Off left side. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. Mike one, Mike one. Runs right for a nice game. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Tacks on the extra point. Number two, 
Carlson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Texas A&M is up two. There's a strike complete, and he's down. That makes it seven and six. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Got it. And he goes down quickly. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Slings it. And they push him out right around the 34. Scramble. Tackle made at the 24. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. Here we go. Going right to his tailback. He's taken down at the 27. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Here's the eighth play of the series. Texas A&M holds just a two-point lead. Scrambling around. Fumble. It's picked up. He's tackled at the 30. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Mark six, 33, 33. Set, red, 68, red, 68. Mahat. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Small has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Just over two minutes in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 35. 
That'll make it second in inches. Four down, four down. Mike one, Mike one. And he's taken down around the 37 yard line. Oliver makes the second down. The 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From the 50, first down. They come out in a five wide set. Got a man in and out of his hands. Williams is intended to see more that way. That makes it second and ten. Four down, four down. Nice number one, nice number one. Hey, go! Watch the winner! This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He's going to go for the home run. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Darts it to the left. Caught! They'll bring him down at the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Just over a minute left. He's in! Try to make this a three-point game. Fires to the end zone, picked off. They don't get it. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Man, hang on to your hats, folks, because both these offenses are in gear right now. Well, the way these guys are executing right now, it could come down to just which defense can come up with one stop. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And the clock continues to run. Now let's see if they try to hurry up here. Fires right side, got his tailback. Brought down at the 44. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a nice six-yard gain. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Set, check. Eagle! Eagle! Hot. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Texas A&M's going to take their first time out of the half. From the 44-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. He's got the corner, and they make the stop right around the 40. So the Aggies are going to call their second time out. Go fly to the ball. Let's hustle left. The kick is away, and he nails the long field goal. If 
They field the kick here at touchdown return as their only chance at victory. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. That tackle just sealed the deal. This one's in the books, and our final score, Texas A&M, 35, Auburn, 33. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.